flying giants. A potential feast for many. But strangely, and now the pterosaurs can come down and claim a share of the carcass. When rain does fall, open water attracts death. Their wings of skin stretch from finger to ankle. And they can fly for hundreds of miles in a day. Each evening, they come to this canyon in huge numbers to roost on its narrow ledges. There is safety in numbers. And anyway, few land-living hunters venture here. But one does. One false step here could bring disaster. The pterosaurs are skittish. They will take to the air at the first sign of danger. And their broad tails assist them in keeping their balance. Those pterosaurs that are resting on the margins of the colony will be the easiest targets. Rocks. are almost within striking distance. She has one. But now the whole colony is alarmed. Her victim slips from the ledge. The female puts the effectiveness of her feathered tail to the test. The males are left to face the pterosaurs. The power of fresh water is at work all around the planet.
in Badlands, and that makes them potential sanctuaries for new life. A young pterosaur. An Asdarkid, just a few hours old. Being on an island means that she's able to take her first tentative steps in safety. Having found her feet, it's time to try out her wings. Getting them to work properly will take some practice. Although she's only one foot tall, she will grow into a giant with a 30-foot wingspan. And to do that will require plenty of food. Something this tiny island can't provide. Maiden flights are always tricky, especially when they're over open water. Today, the But this youngster is not yet strong enough. This island might offer safety. If the takeoff isn't perfect, it's difficult to gain height. And this is not high enough. Some of the stronger flyers have almost reached the safety of the forest. Others have still to make their attempt. a near miraculous escape. And now, the chance to collect her rewards. In these rich swamp forests, there's all the food she needs 